Well, it's not just Knox County. There are dozens of elections across East Tennessee this evening. Several candidates on the ballot have controversial pasts. Reporter Vinay Simla joins us to explain them and how those candidates fared tonight. Vinay? Beth, we're focusing right now on three races in Monroe and Sevier counties. Two of the controversial candidates lost. For one of them, we don't have the results yet. We'll start with Michael Schultz. He ran for district attorney. He pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor DUI charge in 2014. In 2020, Schultz was booked in the Sevier County Jail again on suspicion of DUI, but a judge dismissed and expunged that case. Tonight, Sevier County voters went with the incumbent, Jimmy Dunn. There is no Democrat in this race, so he'll serve another eight-year term. Moving on to Monroe County, Sheriff candidate Randy White was elected sheriff in 2014, but a state commission ruled he wasn't qualified. This year, they say he is qualified. Right now, with only the absentee ballots in, the incumbent Tommy Jones has an 11 vote lead in that candidate in that race. And moving on to Neil Matthew Coverly, he is running for constable. He was a sheriff's deputy. But after accusations of sexual assault, Coverly retired from the sheriff's office before they could open an internal invest affairs investigation against him. Coverly lost to the incumbent Penny Campbell by more than 50 percent. Now, Warren Hurst, Beth, a candidate that we were watching mm -hmm. because he used a slur against Pete Buttigieg, a Democratic candidate for president, he won because he ran unopposed. He'll get to keep his seat on the county commission in Sevier County. All right, Benay Semlot with an update from Sevier County. Thank you. We appreciate you. All right, you can find the results from tonight's elections by texting us. Text the word elections, 865-637-1010. That's the number to text. We have the votes from races across East Tennessee. The winners will advance to the general elections on August 4th.